Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I am working on a layout that was part of the load challenge and um, I am documenting one of our pets. Actually, I'm documenting three of our pets. Um, we have three cats and they were all rescues. Uh, not, not that we went looking for rescues, but um, one of them, the neighbor had to move and they moved to an apartment and couldn't take the cat, so we took the cat. Um, and the, the cat was actually rescued by them. They found it as a kitten between their garage and their neighbor's garage and the mom had died and it was the only kitten in the litter that survived. So they rescued it, then we rescued it from them. Um, one of them showed up as a kitten in the bushes at my work and so we rescued that one. And then the third one um, on the top there, she uh, came, came walking through the chain link fence in our backyard and that's how small she was. Um, she still had stitches and her ear snipped, so we knew she was a feral cat, but she was just a little tiny kitten at the time, so we rescued her too. Um, so I'm just documenting that. So I have this cut file, and this is um, the leftover piece from cutting out the cut file that says, you have cat to be kitten me. Um, and I'm not sure if it's a Paige Evans or or what. Um, I cannot remember because it's been so long since I cut that out. I actually cut it out for a friend, not for myself. And I just kept the um, the negative space, or actually the positive space here. Um, I gave her the cut file and I kept this part, part of it. And I thought, you know what, this is a great use of this particular paper. And so you saw me there punching some holes. I am going to stitch around the cat and I am going to stitch around the entire layout just to give some added texture and um, dimension and interest to it. So I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just doing a back stitch and that's pretty simple. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I do have a video on my channel that shows stitching up close um, and you can find it, you know, if you just look up how to back stitch um, hand stitching, it's it's pretty simple. There's tons of tutorials out there on it. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to use. I think I'm going to use that Hello Kitty, um, the Hello sticker, and then I'm going to use Kitty out of these thickers. I don't end up using Hello. I end up taking that off of the layout and um, changing it up a little bit, but originally that's what I think I'm going to do. So we're going to start with that. And this is actually all three of them. You can see them there in the photo. It's a rare sight to see all three of them stacked up like that in on their cat tree. Uh, the one that's in the foreground, you can only see his back. He's a Siamese. He's the only one that's indoor-outdoor. And um, he doesn't hang out with the other two nearly as much. So uh, he doesn't go and snuggle with them when they're sleeping. The other two will lay on top of each other or next to each other. Um, but but the indoor outdoor one, he's kind of his own, his own little person, and he is um, just a small Siamese guy, and he brings us squirrels and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, he is, he pretty much rules the roost. <laughs> so uh, the big huge one in, in the back corner there, he is our scaredy cat, even though he's the biggest. And then the one up top, she is. Um, the most playful out of the three. She is also the youngest. And so that is basically what I'm going to document in that bottom right hand corner of my layout once I figure out what I'm going to do. So I do have a sticker that I'm going to use that says how we are different on it and that sticker is going down in that bottom corner. And so I'm just documenting just the, the basic differences of the three. I am popping that up onto some foam there as you can see and I like that that gives it some added dimension. I thought about putting something in the upper right instead of the lower right but it kind of made everything look off balance. There's a lot of white space in the bottom right and it so it looks better otherwise it looked like um, anything that was sticking out was coming too close to the cat's head if I put it up at the top. And I didn't bother to stitch underneath where the photo is, so it's not popped up onto any foam or anything like that. I just marked with a pencil where the photo was going, and then I stitched around the cat um, without doing where the photo would be. 
And I don't know if you noticed, but I was using my centering ruler to mark the stitching around the outside of the entire layout. And the centering ruler does have little holes in it. So I actually just used the holes for that. And the stitches are quite far apart compared to what I would normally do. But since it's a straight line, it's not a big deal. Um, if you're going around corners, you do need to go, uh, or around uh, something that's curved, you need to go a little closer together. Otherwise, it looks more like a jagged line. Um, but since I'm just using it for a straight line, I could follow the circles that were in that centering ruler. And that's a super cheap centering ruler. It's like under $3, I think, and it, you can get it on Amazon. It also has straight lines on it, which is super handy. And that is the sticker that says how we are different and I like that I've got these three little puffy stickers I think they are from a they, they are from a collection about cats but I think the collection is from my mind's eye and it's a few years old it's probably like I want to say 2016 maybe um, so the one one says cat lady one has like a little cat nose and whiskers and one has a little cat head on it um, I at the time when I got it I didn't realize I didn't know what I would use it for and um, uh, it, they've been sitting in my stash for a while and so it's nice to get them out of my stash uh, I'm not really a cat lady I've never had cats growing up or anything like that we've always had dogs but um, yeah these guys found us and so I guess we belong to them now <laughs> and that little cat black cat dye is from a metal die it's called, from X cut and they're called I think they're called dinky dies and they're really inexpensive but they're um, you know they're just little tiny things that you can run through on your sidekick and I love them I love all the little tiny dies speaking of cats one of mine just came my scaredy cat just came to visit me here while I'm voicing this um, so my title is now going to use that yellow banner and it I'm going to hand write we rescued a and then kitty is in the uh, thickers there as you can see so that's pretty much it for the layout there's not a whole lot more going on I kept it pretty simple and for layout a day I do need to keep them on the more simple side so uh, that I can get them done and make sure they get done in a timely manner I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up and like uh, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.